Hi grade 11 student. So in today's video guys, I'm going to prepare access disposal notes uh, which is ledger account as well as computer account under a fixed asset. So please make sure that you watch until the end guys because I'm going to introduce some of the principles that probably you didn't know before. So I took the question paper uh, that was written uh, in June in the province of Eastern Cape. Okay. Please make sure that you go and watch other videos so that you can learn how other provinces they were setting this kind of question. And please, guys, I know that some of you, you are just coming here, enjoying video without subscribing. Guys, in order for us to record a lot of videos, it's because of you who are subscribing. The more we see channel growing every day, that guys, it keeps us uh, uploading more and more and more videos because we can see that you really, really need this assistance okay now let's start with our question okay so this question it was in combination of vat which on this video we are going to ignore a vat uh, question okay now let's check uh, they said a fixed assets 4.2 the information related to ss consultants for the financial year end date February 2023, and the owner Sydney changed the recording of equipment, and it was decided to record the five computers separate from other computer. Number two, the precision policy was amended on 1 March 2022 as follow. Okay, they said computers is 25% on cost, and other equipment is 20% on carrying veil. Okay. Three of the five computers were replaced for the later models on 31 July 2022. And note that all the computers were purchased on the same day for 17,200 each. And EFT payments for full amount was paid on that day. So in other words, they replaced three computers. Three computers is the one that has been sold. Remember when we talk about disposal account. This is the account for only sold assets simple as that okay now let's proceed with the information 4.2.1 provide two reasons why sydney wanted to replace some assets please comment with the answer for this one because we are just going to prepare this account and also comment uh, the following question explain why sydney wanted to record the computer separate why sydney wanted to record this computer separate Comment with the answer so that I will come and correct you uh, with the comment. Okay, 4.2.3. Prepare the following account in the general ledger. Okay, number one is computer at cost, this one. Number two, access disposal account on 31 July 2022. Each have seven marks. Okay, then information extract from fixed assets register. They give us a computer cost price of 95000 at the end and 86000 at the beginning. So let's start with this one. We're going to have opening balance. And the opening balance is given, which is uh, 28 February 2022. The balance of last year is opening for this year. 86000 Okay. And the closing balance likely is also given, which comes this side. Closing balance. Come this side and it's 95,000, which means that the balancing figure will be other amount in this case. So, the next one, remember, computer is an asset. Assets increase on the debit and decrease on the credit, which means that the one that we sold, we have to de recognize them this side. We have to subtract them on the credit. We have a disposal here. Disposal. Please make sure, note that this account does not record any depreciation or accumulated depreciation. It's for only cost price. Or if we purchase or if we sold, we record it here. Okay. Let, now our disposal is going to be how much? We need to figure out. They just said three or five computers. Okay. At the beginning, we have 86,000 or five computers. Which means that now we are looking for those three 
out of five computer that has been sold which means that if you do this calculation we are going to get an answer of three computers that has been disposed okay if you do this you are going to get fifty one thousand six hundred just like this okay which means that now the account remember this one we are going to do balance uh, carry down here balance of 95,900. But we need to get total this side because in this case we no longer have anything this side, which means that we have to calculate a total of 147,500. Now, this 147, what is on the debit must be the same with on the credit, which means that it's going to be 147,500 even this side, which means that this one we're going to do it as a balancing figure and it will be bank okay why bank remember they said they replaced another one 147,500 minus 86,000 is going to give you this one remember they said that on the same day uh, they did a replacement and each computer uh, we purchased by 17,200 so you have to do it as a balancing figure the reason is because closing balance it was already given but if closing balance it was not given guys you were required to calculate this side first and you get total and you do balancing figure the other side very simple like that okay now let's proceed uh, now we are going to this side remember we have this amount which obviously we are just gonna transfer it on the other side and we said computer that has been sold a cost price is 51 600 so you have to know the format of assets disposal this side is computer if you have a profit you record it this side and this side is accumulated depreciation for this computer that has been sold and we also gonna have bank or what we call creditors or debtors control it depends on the situation if we sold them cash like this case we're going to write a bank okay now let's check we sold them by how much okay let's go and read the information accumulated depreciation on computer was sold uh, on the computer sold was 23,000 on 1 March 2023 so Remember this computer was sold uh, on 31 July, which means that this depreciation, we still have to calculate it, 23,220. This amount is for one March, it's opening balance at the beginning, and it was sold during the year on 31 July 2022. And they said they were sold for 30,000 each. 30,000. How many they were sold? Three. Multiply by three. It's gonna give you 9,000 very simple okay now let's proceed which means that we need to calculate uh, another depreciation now 51,600 they said we are using a cost price it's going to be 51,600 then we multiply it by a computer is 25 percent okay then after that we need to uh, check the issue of months if you count from 1 march 2022 up to 31 july it's gonna be march april may june july it's gonna be five multiply by five over 12 okay then it will give you the amount uh, it's gonna give you the amount let me check amount of 5375 then after that you're gonna get amount of 28,595 okay then after that we need to check which side is higher if you check in this case obviously 28 plus 9000 
it won't reach 51,000 which means that this one is higher 51,600 which means that our balancing figure is a loss on sales of asset okay if you take this one subtract these two you're gonna get amount of 14,000 and five rand so this is how you should do asset disposal so this is what i wanted to show you on this lesson i also recorded the other asset disposal on the other videos please make sure that you go and check them as well so there is a max allocation for this one because i know that uh, some of you if you did it incorrectly you were going to get a profit in this side which means that it was going to be wrong so make sure that you write this name correctly so that you can get those marks. I will see you on the next one.